Hey, I'm Mulrat and I'm hanging out with Rob on Front Row Live. What happened a couple nights ago with uh, Vic Fuentes of uh, Pierce the Veil? Oh, he, <laughs> he hit me up and I was so surprised. I didn't realize he was a fan. He's like, hey, um, I, would, I saw you in Seattle. Like, I'm recording there at the moment. Would love to love to come to the show. I'm yeah. a big fan. And I was like, oh, that's so random and so cool. That's crazy. And uh, yeah, and then he was so lovely. He was such a nice guy. Right now, you're currently on this tour with All Day and you're promoting your new EP, uh, Driving Music. Talk to me about the creative process of this EP and you kind of went a different route as far as like uh, the music goes. You kind of changed it up a little bit this time around. Yeah, well, I mean, I like so many different styles of music and I... I get bored very easily, yeah. so I wouldn't be interested in like making the same sounding thing again. But um, I would. I just was producing more and working with lots of different types of people, mm. um, and I feel like it's maybe sounds a little bit moodier than the last EP. Yeah. And you know, do you feel like you were in a certain place when you were creating this EP that it made it more moodier? I don't know because I made it over like a year and a half or two years, mm. so. I was feeling all sorts of different ways over that time. <laughs> um, I honestly don't really remember how I was feeling. I think I was pretty good. I was just traveling a lot and uh, right. yeah. Now this this EP, you kind of do dove in more in the production side of it. Uh, you co-produced it, but like, what was it about producing that made you want to jump the gun and you know start doing it with your own music? I mean, I feel like writing music and being a touring artist is already like crazy enough. So adding production to to that, like, I feel like it just makes it even wilder. Yeah, well, I was interested in production before I was interested in songwriting. Mm, okay. But the w the world that I just kind of ended up in at the beginning was like, I just felt very unqualified. Mm. And I kind of was, but you know, you don't really need to be qualified to make beats. And um, so I just kind of fell into writing songs. But before I wrote any lyrics, I was m just making beats on GarageBand. So it's just kind of coming full circle and, and you know, feeling more competent at the thing yeah. that I really, really enjoy. Right. So, but I co-produced the last EP and this one. Okay. Um, and there's like, a, there's one song that I didn't really work on much on the production and then there's one that I did solely on my own and then mm. everything else was pretty collaborative. So as you're kind of focusing more on this production um, or feeling more confident, confident with the production side, like, do you feel like it's kind of changed the way that you're writing these songs as far as like lyrics or even like sounds that you create? I think more structure than mm. than lyrics and definitely sound as well. Be like, for example, Drive Me Round, I produce that on my own. And the way that it is, I don't think it would, it would be really hard to make a song like that when you're in the room with another person. Because yeah. like, it wasn't conscious conscious and I wasn't like checking up on someone constantly being like are you happy with this like right. because it just was experimental mm. and then like I made the beat and then like a few months later I went to the studio and wrote lyrics for it like it was a very spread out process and yeah it's not something that you can plan with another person right now as far as like instrumentation or the sound sonics of this EP um, the last track stay I really loved the instrumentals behind it as well. What inspired the instrumentals that you use for that track specifically? Thank you. Well, a lot of that song is just my voice in the background, like humming and going Are you like, serious? yeah, it's like <laughs> it's like humming and ahs and stuff. And then I, the producer that um, I worked with, is this guy called um, who did that one? That was um, Lucian Blomkamp, mm -hmm. Blomkamp, who's like an Australian guy. Okay. Um, but he's actually been working on a lot of stuff like with Black. Oh, nice. And like some more kind of hip hop stuff. So he kind of brought that groove and those drums to the warm vocal things. Yeah. I think that also um, I was listening to that Young Thug EP um, on the run mm. a lot. And like Climax is my favorite song from that with Black and like the way they use vocals in the beat. I was really inspired by. Okay. Okay, so are you like big with hip hop and is that something that you listen to, not necessarily for you to go into the studio, but is that something that kind of inspires you when you're starting to create? Yeah, I don't like really ever sit down and be like, I'm going to write a rap song, but I listen to rap like more than almost anything. It's kind of like my first love. Like, <laughs> it's so funny. It's like hip hop and like country music. <laughs> <Awesome>. <laughs> They're my two favorite things. So it just like it comes out in unexpected ways sometimes when yeah. I'm writing, but I love rap so much. So how, how much does uh, having a producer that focuses it a lot in the hip hop world kind of change your aspect of the, or your creative process? 
I think some it's faster. Like hip hop producers work really quickly. Mm. Like all the like I've got a friend Fossa who produced Circles. He's kind of more in the hip hop world, and we haven't put anything out together yet. But when I, I work with this guy called First a lot, who's like he he lives here. He's from Atlanta, and he's mm. like the way he works is so interesting. It's just really quick, and it's just lots of different ideas, and then moving on to a new one. Like you might do like six different ideas in a night, right. and it's like it's really fun. But then also I'll go into sessions with like you know like a someone who's predominantly like a guitarist mm -hmm. and then it's a different style of songwriting and then I might go into the studio with an electronic producer and that's more about sounds and like building to certain moments so I like try and I love doing that I love working with people from all different backgrounds and then just like asking a million questions yeah. and learning everything <laughs> that I can from all of them <laughs> so with with this EP uh, do you feel like there was a particular song or a particular track that kind of challenged you uh, to the point where it, like, it maybe took you a long time to kind of create it or to f kind of finalize it? Um, this EP was like, all of the songs were pretty easy. Mm. Circles with Fossa, I went back on the verses a few different times, but everything else was a quick process, yeah. um, which is really good. I get, if I have to work on something for too long, I just hate it and then it never comes <laughs> out. Like, despite how much time and love I'll put into the song, I'll be like, I'm sick of it. Yeah. I don't want to sing it. I don't want anyone else to hear it. I hate it now. So um, I'm probably have, like, like put some good songs in the bin because of that, but that's okay. Yeah, this EP was pretty quick. Yeah. But I think that Drive Me Round and Charlie for me felt like leveling up. Like mm. Charlie with the lyrics and Drive Me Round with the production. Right. I thought they were pretty special. Now, what about like your your actual voice, like uh, you singing? How do you perfect that, you know, within each track that you create? I don't really think about it very much. Like, I don't think of myself as a singer, even though I am. I like I think of it myself as a songwriter. Mm. Um, maybe I should think differently, but I don't know. So, for me, it's just like going into the studio and recording whatever melody is in my head, or like yeah. using my vocals just to build. Oh, hello! Do you <laughs> we got a friend here. Can we keep him for the interview? <laughs> <laughs> we have a brand new friend here. <laughs> he knew where he was going. <laughs> Man. <laughs> that was so cute. But yeah. That doesn't happen all the time. I know. But I feel like usually I'm just thinking of my voice as like an instrument or something to get the lyrics out yeah. there. But uh Yeah, I don't think like I'm an amazing singer. I just think my tone works for the lyrics that I write. Right. So now that you've kind of been touring a lot in the States, I've, I feel like you've been touring a lot in the States. Um, and I want to say you're out here now, right? Or Okay, so like, has that changed your perspective on your songwriting? Because I hear a lot of artists say, or songwriters say, like, depending where they're at, their mindset kind of changes when they're writing lyrics. Have you, have you felt that that kind of happened to you? I don't think it's, I've been out here long enough to give like a proper answer. Like mm -hmm. I moved in February, but pretty much since February I've been on sure. tour. Yeah, so <laughs> I haven't been here that much. I haven't had much time to write music here. Yeah. But I think it's harder to write lyrics on tour mm -hmm. because I kind of need my own space to do that to, and to make things. I can make beats on tour, but I can't really write lyrics on, when I'm around other people. Right. But on the other hand, not writing songs for a few weeks or months means that when you get back into it, it feels like you have a lot to say. Yeah, true. So it kind of works out well in the end. Mm. So I, f I feel like you've been working with so many like new artists and established artists within the last couple of years. Um, I think most recently you kind of did something with Maggie Rogers um, and then something with the Veronicas. Is that is that right? Uh, well, I haven't written anything with Maggie, but we toured together and like did a couple covers together which okay. was really fun she's the best and then the Veronica's I don't know if it's, if the song will come out but I've been like I did a session with them writing for um, their new album yeah. which was really fun and they're really cool girls and I like would love to keep doing that <laughs> but um no pressure on them to put out the song yeah. <laughs> but yeah they're really cool to work with now what did you learn from working with them like especially in the songwriting sense like um is there anything that you kind of picked up or did they kind of influence you in any way like the way that you write your music now well when i worked with the veronicas i mean i've like hung with them a lot and we've done performances together but mm. we've only done one day in the studio together and there was also another girl there mookie 
and she's like an Australian pop artist and also does a lot of writing for other people. Okay. And it was my first time working with other writers and writing for somebody else. So I kind of like was learning to just put my ideas on paper straight away mm. and show them to people straight away. Whereas usually I like hide them until they're exactly right. And then <laughs> I show people. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Yeah. That's cool. So now the EP's out, you're currently on tour. Like what else is going on for 2019 for you? Um, I have to start working on an album. <laughs> so <laughs> that, At some point, that's gonna happen. yeah, that's <laughs> going to happen. So album writing and, uh, just lots of touring and festivals yeah. and other things. Awesome. Well, thanks so much for taking the time to sit with me. Thank you. Um, definitely can't wait for more music from you. So you guys be sure to check out Marat. New EP is out now. It's called? Driving Music. Skirt. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for watching. Yeah, on Front Row Live. <laughs>